Human skin is a complex, multi-layered material which exhibits a range of effects under deformation at both the meso and micro scales. While modern scanning techniques record mesostructure dynamics at a sub-millimeter resolution, microstructure dynamics below a tenth of a millimeter are generally not recorded despite their effect on facial reflectance and appearance. In this work, we acquire the shape of deforming skin microstructure using polarized gradient illumination, macro photography, and a skin measurement gantry able to stretch and compress skin at measured intervals. Each scan, performed in under half a second, records the skin surface shape at 10 micron resolution. From the normal maps derived from the lighting conditions, we integrate a displacement map for each amount of deformation. The surface roughness changes under deformation, as seen in the surface orientation histograms over the sample area. We also measure the effects of deformation at several skin orientations. Graphing this data, we see that skin becomes shinier when it's stretched and rougher when it's compressed. Using the measured microstructure normal distributions as a guide, we blur the microstructure in the direction of stretching and sharpen the microstructure in the direction of compression. Thus the surface flattens when stretched and appears to bunch up when compressed. This yields similar directional texture and changing surface roughness as the surface deforms, even though it doesn't simulate the full complexity of dynamic microstructure. Here, we use this skin microstructure deformation model on a deforming sphere, which becomes shinier when it expands and rougher when it shrinks. When squashed and stretched, its microstructure develops anisotropic texture, The dynamic microstructure gives a stronger sense of surface strain, especially in this twisting example. We apply our model to a slab of skin where the skin mesostructure is simulated using a low resolution finite element simulation and the microstructure deformation is simulated using displacement map convolution. Here we apply the technique while blending between two facial scans, where the mesostructure is linearly interpolated between the scans, and the dynamic microstructure is created through displacement map convolution. Visualizing the local surface strain gives a sense of which parts of the displacement map are being blurred and sharpened, and in which direction. Seen without microstructure, the mesostructure scans on their own miss significant aspects of realistic skin appearance. Adding a static microstructure displacement map improves the skin-like quality, but doesn't look natural where the skin compresses and stretches significantly. Adding the dynamic microstructure map provides a more visceral sense of surface tension and emphasizes the expression. The effect can also be seen more clearly by visualizing the specular surface reflection on its own. We can also apply this technique to a captured facial performance. This animation transitions between different 4K mesostructure maps and uses dynamic microgeometry computed on the fly from a 16K microstructure displacement map. Again, the dynamic microgeometry produces a noticeable effect on the skin reflectance and is an additional indication of the deformation and strain of the skin. We validate the technique by showing side-by-side -side photos of a face with a compressed expression lit by a point light and the corresponding simulated expression. As desired, the specular reflections show similar texture orientation and roughness variation in the photos and renderings.